everyone and welcome to this video and if new welcome to my channel in my last video i showed you all the products that i got from revolution uh, beauty revolution pro and i'm very excited to try everything almost everything on my face today to use it and try it and play with it and see how it's going to work so i'm going to create a makeup look with almost every product that i bought and then i'm going to see at the end of the day how they work so guys, I have almost everything. I have everything from uh, eyebrow product, primers, lipstick, foundation, concealers, uh, highlighters, eyeshadow powders, setting powders, everything except contour and bronzer because they didn't come out with that product. No, I don't think so. But anyway, let's try. And uh, before we start, I would like if you subscribe and like this video. And please don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I have a new video up on my channel. So let's start. I'm very curious to see. <laughs> I really waited for this video to create this video for a long time now since I ordered it, but it did take a while for package to arrive. Okay, so let's start with this uh, um, poor primer and uh, see. How this works everything is cruelty free and vegan so that's very good looks like this oh thick it's a little bit pink and if you can see it I know how much to take let's start with this amount and see how it's going to work work it into the skin I only have my moisturizer on my skin today nothing else it feels very nice, silky feeling, like it. My pores look a little bit uh, minimized, not so much, but looks nice. I don't know. We'll see how it's going to hold my makeup. So I'm going to take this eye, um, eye Element Core Eye Primer that I bought. I think this is the lightest shade that had different shades for different skin tones. I'm not really a big fan of these kind of primers in this packaging but we'll see I'm going to use my finger oh it feels very soft and nice a little bit feels a little bit oily when I apply it on my eyelid we'll see and I am going to set my eyeshadow primer okay it feels very light a little bit oily but I found out that a couple of uh, primers that I tried eyeshadow primers looked a little bit oily and felt a little bit oily but very dried down very fast and worked beautifully on my eyes so it could be case with this one it kind of takes away a little bit of the redness and, and discoloration that i have on my eyelids the veins and yeah everything else that i don't like seeing so i'm going to set that and i'm going to use this um, pressed finish setting powder or pressed finish powder it's called I'm going to use that all over my eyelids to set, I forgot to open this one, to set my eyeshadow primer. Love the packaging though. I love the packaging. Ooh, nice. It says Pro. Ooh, feels very soft. Looks very white. But it disappears, so it looks promising. Let's take more, a little bit of the powder. So I'm going to do my eyebrows and I did buy two products, eyebrow products. I bought this mi Microblade Effect uh, Precision Eyebrow pencil, pencil and also this Eyebrow Definer Cushion. I bought both of them in medium brown. I don't know if it's a little bit too dark, but because I have my hair colored a little bit darker, I'm not blonde anymore. So if it's turn it if it turns out to be a little bit too dark, I can go with it. It's very thin. If there is a there there is a spoolie. Let's see how much product you get. It's very thin. This is how much the product you get, around two centimeters, or maybe more, around. Mm, I don't know. I don't, I'm scared it's going to be a little bit too light, actually. And then we have this cushion. Looks like this. 
Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit, a little bit too light. But let's see if we can make it work. Uh, this color is so wrong for me, medium brown. I'm going to go over to the cushion to see if that works better. I need my brush. I regret that I didn't buy a couple of shades. I really thought that this medium brown is going to work because it looked like that on the website. But Let's build it up with this cushion. Okay, this worked very nice. So easy to apply, like this product. Also, the pencil is very good. I like how it worked on my eyebrows, but it's just wrong color. So I need to take some eyebrow powder over just to dark it up a little bit because it looks strange. But I'm definitely going to order another shade because these are beautiful. And I think I'm going to give these away. I'm going to take my... Anastasia, just dark it up a little bit because it looks so weird. Okay, then I'm going to take this concealer number seven just to fix the shape of the eyebrows. I like the shape of the eyebrows. I don't like the color. But yeah, let's just keep on going. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. I have so many nice products to try. Okay, hard to remove. That's a good sign. I am uh, was thinking, I didn't really know which palette I'm going to tr try out, but I'm curious to see this one. I, I watched a lot of tutorials and swatches with this palette, and uh, it looks beautiful. Very nice palette. So I'm going to use this one today. I'm actually going to leave this one and do another video with that palette. But today I'm going to use this and I'm kind of curious to see this pink shade. In this pen they look very similar so I'm going to swatch these and see if they are similar when you swatch them. No, they are not. Well, look, there are difference between all of them. But I like them. I think I'm going to use this shade here today on, on my eyelid. It's this one, this shade here. Transit.
Okay, so now I uh, am almost finished with this makeup look. I just want to say, if you're a beginner and you're afraid to play with colors and you're afraid that you're not going to be able to blend the shades by this palette because they are so easy to blend. It's almost impossible to, to do a mistake. I mean, these blended uh, like a dream. Beautiful. They are pigmented. They're a little bit powdery, but not as much as Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. These are beautiful. Now, I really like how this turned out as a very nice, smooth, like ombre eyeshadow look. But I want to see how they are going to perform when you wet the brush because they are shimmery, but not as shimmery in your eyes as I kind of like them to be sometimes, not always, so I'm very happy with this makeup look. Actually, I am uh, going to try to wet the brush and see if it's going to look more metallic eyeshadow, like more metallic shades. So I'm going to use this spray that I bought. This is uh, Supreme Matte Finishing Spray and use that to wet my brush. Let's try this Stellar shade, Stellar, Stellar. Wet. Okay, ooh. and see where is the mirror. Yeah, definitely more metallic. See if I can find another brush and wet that brush. Yeah, definitely more metallic when you wet the brush. Like that. Really, really like this palette. So, so, I love, love this makeup look. Now, the only thing that I don't like, it's uh, that I don't have a very light eyeshadow so I can have under my eyebrows, but maybe we can fix that with one of the highlighters that I bought. Okay, we're going to play with this more under the lower lash line, but right now we have to go into the foundation. Let's see if there is any fallout. No fallout from the eyeshadows. I already have that primer on. Let's go into the foundation. Number seven. This is full coverage camouflage foundation. And I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and apply it first with a brush. And then we're going to try to apply it with a beauty blender and see which one works better. I have a lot of breakouts. Let's see first with a beauty blender how it's going to work. Need more coverage. Blends nice. It's a little bit dry formula. I need more coverage. Beautiful. I mean, this looks like my skin. Really, really like how this foundation blended into my skin. Now, I'm afraid because it's a little bit thick and it's uh, like a dry formula. I'm scared that it's going to set into my fine lines during the day, but that's just, we have to see if it's going to be like that. Let's try me, try to blend it with a brush. I'm going to apply it on the other side. And I like this color on me, this shade. We get a lot of foundation in here. Okay. Do you know what, what guys? It blended beautifully with the brush too. I know, which side do you like more guys? I think this looks more matte and this looks lo look more luminizing, but they all, both of them worked fine. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more of the foundation on my skin just to see how it's going to build up. And actually I'm going to use the beauty blend just because I have it here. 
So this is how the foundation looks. My skin very nice and I like the primer too. And let's try the concealer. I'm going to use my beauty blender for the concealer and I bought number six, just one shade lighter than the foundation. Uh, it's a thick. Not how much to use. I think this is going to be more than enough. Or uh, this one is a thick, nice shade. Feels a little bit sticky. This um, concealer. I like it. But I need to set everything and I am going to try this loose, loose finishing powder. Hope it doesn't look too white. Let's see. I think this is translucent. I'm hoping. Oh, goes everywhere. Looks very white. But let's see how it's going to work under my eyes. I have a funny face right now, I know. I kind of see a little bit of patchiness. I don't think I blended my concealer perfectly. I felt like my beauty blender was a little bit dry. But this powder took away my, a uh, lot of my, um, what it's called, a lot of my pores. Uh, take the same powder and set the whole face. Oh. This made everything look so smooth and nice. I think I applied a little bit too much of the concealer because it doesn't look very smooth and even. Uh, the color down here under my eyes. I don't know if you can see, but it really covered covered everything. And I think it has to be that my beauty blend is, was a little bit too dry, but it looks nice. It's not creasy. Everything looks very smooth and very nice. I'm going to go back to this eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the transit under my lower lash line. They're a little bit powdery. I don't know if you can see here. Okay, then I'm going to go into this shade here, the third one, with the same brush, and bring it a little bit closer to my lower lash line. This one, actually, very close to my lash line. I'm going to put some bronzer blush and I'll, because I don't have that in my collection and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I have my bronzer and my blush on my skin and I'm very into blushes during the, the, during the spring. I'm back. Okay, I'm going to t uh, remove some of the foundation from my lips. I'm going actually going to try this primer. This is uh, Revolution Pro Lip Primer and Perfect. I'm going to apply that all over my lips. And then we're going to try highlighter and then we're going to go into the lipstick. Mm. Feels very nice and soft, like a balm. No shade, you're going to see. Let it sink into my skin a little bit. And then uh, I, have two, uh, I have two of the highlighter palettes. I have this one in gold. And I have this metallic. So I'm uh, curious to see how this is going to work on me. I'm kind of scared they are going to be a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but we'll see how they swatch. Maybe they are darker in the pan than they actually are. Okay, let's swatch all three shades. Uh, this pink, oh, very, very soft. very soft formula. It's 
So let's see. Ooh. Look how stunning these are. This is from Zoe, uh, Zoeva129. And take a little bit of this. Ready? Need to pick more. That's beautiful. I don't know if camera picks this up, but this looks so soft and worth looking. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. So nice, wet looking. I'm going to take this brush and take a little of that pink and put it here. Okay, I have this collection with lipsticks and I have one of these lipsticks. This is what is it? This is uh, Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment in Visionary. And this is in collection matte nude. So I'm going to leave this for a swatch video because this video is too long already. So I'm actually going to apply this one. Love the packaging. The only thing I don't like, the sticker here, I want it down here. That's everything. But looks so nice. This shade looks very dark in the packaging, but I watched a couple of swatches from other people and it wasn't that dark on their lips, but we'll see how it's going to work on mine. I guess it's a little bit darker, but let's try it. Why not? Love this shade. I love the applicator. It's so soft and very, I don't know if you get flexible. Very, very nice. I'm going to order more of these. I love this shade. Love the formula. Feels very nice and soft. I don't know if this is also working together like a perfect match. I'm going to try this without this primer. But actually, right now, it feels very nice. So, last thing that I have to try from this collection right now in this video is this guy here. This is Supreme Matte Finishing Spray. So let's use it all over my face. Worked beautiful. All make made everything melt into my skin. Love the highlighter. Love it. Love the eyeshadow. I'm going to do my mascara. I'm not going to use falsies today because I am going away. Uh, but let's finish the eyes and I'll be back. So guys, this is the final look. I really like how everything worked on my skin. I love uh, the primer, the face primer, the pore primer. I love the foundation, the concealer. It, kind of looks very nice it kind of looks more even right now when it set had time to settle into my skin highlighter palette this metallic one it's a must love setting powder this is an amazing powder made everything looks so smooth so nice so beautiful right now i'm very impressed with every product i also like how these uh, my the pencil and the product uh, the cushion um, eyebrow cushion worked out. It's just wrong color for me, so I am going to order a darker shade because it was so easy to work with beautiful products. I love the eyeshadow palette. It's 12, 10 past 12. I'm going to uh, go away for a whole day today. So we'll see how this is going to hold up and how it's going to look after a couple of hours. But if you want to see that, just keep on watching. I'll be right back for you. A couple of seconds, many hours for me. See you soon. Hi, everyone, and welcome back. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. I think I'm getting a cold again. <laughs> it's 9.30 and uh, I had this makeup for 
yeah, over eight hours. And let's see how it looks. Uh, the first thing I noticed, I didn't touch anything. I didn't uh, <clears throat> put more lipstick. I didn't touch my lipstick. I didn't touch my face. I tried really to keep my hands off my face so we can really see how all this makeup worked. So I have combinated skin, oily T-zone and dry down here. I do look shiny but the foundation stayed there. Of course I have two lines because I have the, my um, glasses on. The foundation is gone here but otherwise it looks very nice. It looks like one with my skin. Like my skin. It really looks. I love this foundation. <clears throat> I think it worked very nice. Also the primer. Uh, this one, it did minimize my pores. Now, not as much as maybe I would like them to, but I will try to work it more around my T-zone where I do have a lot of um, those, <clears throat> I'm sorry, pores. Uh, the eyeshadow based eyeshadow primer uh, didn't really work nice because almost all of my eyeshadow is gone. It's creasing a lot. But the, there is no creasing under my eyes where I had this concealer, so I really, really like this concealer. I do have a little bit of mascara that transformed down here, but that's mascara that's nothing that I tried today. Uh, let me see. The lipstick base worked fine. The lipstick, also very beautiful, was a little bit drying, but not too much, not uncomfortable. I did eat lunch and I ate some ice cream, was drinking water. Uh, ate my dinner right now and I do still have lipstick on though it did crumble a little bit I will zoom you in so you can see eyebrows still there I do like eyeshadow eyeshadows I think that I you can still see my crease eyeshadow my crease the eyeshadow where I had it on my eyelid is gone because of the this um, eye primer that really didn't work for my oily eyelids and still I have a highlighter it's on you can see my my bronzer is still on I really love this foundation really love all the products that I got except this now I did use this mattifying spray and the supreme matte and I do look shiny I look oily I think it's fine. I think it really made my skin, uh, made my makeup look beautiful. I love this setting powder. This is amazing. And I'm so glad that I got this one. Uh, the pressed finishing powder. I think it's the same as this loose one, but it's just different. This one is pressed and this one is loose. Uh, loving this. So let's zoom in. As you can see, it looks beautiful around my nose. There is still foundation on my nose. It didn't settle to my fine lines. My uh, concealer didn't crease on my fine lines that I have under my eyes. The foundation looks beautiful. Highlighter is still there. I really love this makeup. Okay, so I still have a couple of products that I haven't tried. I have these pressed glitters. I have uh, this gold um, highlighter palette, this eyeshadow palette and the lipstick. So I'm definitely going to try them out and I'm definitely going to make videos with these products. But everything else that I tried, I really, really like. Now the lipstick, it did crumble, but I'm going to try to put it on right now again. I can't see, find my blotting paper, so I'm going to take a tissue. Just I want to see how my face is going to look when I take away a little bit of this oiliness that came through. Still looks flawless, like I just put my makeup on. I really like it. Yeah, give a thumbs up if you like this video. Please let me know down below if you want me to try something, uh, what product you want me to try or review. And also I'm sad that I bought wrong shade of the eyebrow pencil, pencil and uh, cushion. Uh, eyebrow cushion product now I was kind of thinking why did I buy medium brown that looks so light but it's because I bought this from a pomade 
from Revolution and also in medium brown and please compare these shades both of these products on medium brown let me swatch pomade and the cushion foundation so you can see that's why I ordered medium brown because this is medium brown pomade and cushion and that's that is why I bought the cushion in medium brown because I already have revolution pomade and I thought really thought that this was the same shade just as uh, in their foundation stick foundation that I bought in number seven is the same here because I really didn't expect that this one uh, would be so different but it is that was everything Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and get, give a thumbs up if you like this video. I hope you find this very helpful and that you find uh, some product that you're interested in. I think these are amazing and why not try to buy them? That was everything. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!